What's up, everyone? It is Metrogate75 here today. Today, we are playing Sakura Beach episode, Sakura Beach 2 episode 3. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that it's actually Sakura Beach 2 I'm playing. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, I guess my curiosity has beat me this time. Open the door just a fresh I peek inside. Ah, oh, good. Yes. Playtime. So that's what the, that noise was. The two of them are having a pillow fight. Pillow as they usually are when they're both alone in their room. Wait, pillow fight? If they're doing that, then how, how have they survived? But it looks harmless enough. Eh, <sighs> they're having too much fun. And haven't noticed me. Take that, Yumi. Don't think I'll let you win this time, too. We must settle this once and for all. Ha! We already know what the outcome will be. Princess Moku will rescue her CG from the Witch Witch and live happily ever after that. And Yumi brings down her pillow over her head like a sledgehammer. Why am I the wicked one? It's just how it is. And Yumi seems to get it ir irritated. <laughs> you call me wicked. When have you such an indecent, indecent bounty, Moku? Use her pillow as a shield, and Yumi knocks Moku over. Only her in place, and Yumi places her, her hands on Yumi's chest. Look at these things. Watermelons would be jealous of their size. <laughs> oh, that's a little blow, Yumi. <laughs> yeah. You're just jealous that Siji doesn't stare at your chest as much as mine. What are you talking about? Why would I want him to stare at my chest? You know why. Moko throws the pillow in Yumi's face, and her hands immediately charges towards her top. Within a split second, her bra is on top. No fair! That's fighting dirty! All is fair in love and war. A fight won with honor is worth far more than one with dishonor. How could she say that when her fruit is bouncing all over? These perverted thoughts will leave me alone. They could last their mock fight continues. They really are bouncy, Yumi. Like you could talk, Queen of the Jelly Mounds. Jelly Mounds? Don't give them a name like that. They'll be called Jelly Mounds for as long as I am called the Wicked Witch. What a childish nickname. But when I look at them, they do remind me of Jelly and Close the door. The fact that I've been unable to control myself is shameful. I quietly close the door. That was interesting. <laughs> sure was. And in the end, there was no pillow to the face either. Just, just pretend you didn't see anything. I think I can wait a little bit longer until I ask them about Nene. After a little while, I woke up to the curse and knocked on the door. Hey, Yumi, you go. What do you want, you fool? Hey! What is it? What's the matter, CJ? They didn't want to go to Stargast again. I'm going to be a head out. I'm going to be a head out. So... Your worst will be smacking me in the face. Ah, absolutely not. <laughs> You're stay here where I can keep my eye on you, you fool. What? <laughs> just experienced that. <laughs> Somehow, my face has been able to shrug it off now. I don't know if it's, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> ah, we'll just take it as a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> with a face like this, I can survive anything. Who knows what kind of innocent things you do with a girl when you're all alone? It's not like that, Ayumi. She's just a friend, isn't she? That has nothing to do with it. You can't go alone. And that is final. Ayumi, why are you yelling? This fool wants to go out and start getting with that strange girl. Come on, let us. Let me go, man. And I refuse to allow it. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, God. There's a problem. Then. <gasps> why don't you just go? Go! Oh, go! But this solution works in real doesn't it? 
you'll be able to make sure CG doesn't do anything in this time. Why do I have so little faith in me? I just know you, silly. Shit. As much as you pretend that you are looking for whatever I stop that innocent behavior. But it's normal for someone who's so hot blooded to not be able to ignore my beautiful figure. I am not a perf. Please, come on. Stop trying to create this inappropriate image of me. And they're just only what you like onto the world, silly. But that's okay, you're still my adorable precious silly CG no matter what. I put my face into a pillow on the pole. <laughs> Shush! Are you okay with me going out or not? I'm going to put my pulls in the pillow and into my ear. I think you'll be fine then. Ah, <sighs> just the sudden change of the heart. We work out a compromise for the solution. Situation. A special compromise. Am I allowed to know what this compromise is? Absolutely not! <laughs> Why? I knew it! <laughs> They're planning to do something sneaky! Yeah, nothing to worry about, CG. Our compromise would not interfere with your date at all. Huh? Who said it was a date? This day, <laughs> there's so much jealousy in you, bruh. <laughs> oh my god, yo, you can just quietly do yourself. <laughs> anyway, CG, you have my blessing token. Quickly, make haste. Hang on, let me, let me tell her what time first. I put an reply to her message. I can go tonight. See you in an hour. Sure. There. Done. Heh. <laughs> you best not do anything to work for CG. <laughs> Yo, Yumi, stop. Please. I won't know what you do. I won't. Really, I won't. Come on. That remains to be seen. I understand why you're ready for this. You're just a friend, right? Nothing to worry about. I'm gonna make these shameless things to someone who's just afraid. Afraid. <laughs> Don't do shit things at all. At least not on purpose. Of course it's on purpose. It can't happen. But she's just a friend. It won't happen, right? The trials is always hard to navigate, especially in the dark. But the light of the stars always guides me to my special place. It's not really my special place anymore. Consider the memories I've shared with these, these two. Those two. Here, it belongs to them. Not to mention Nay Nay. If there's ever been anyone else who has discovered these hills, how many people have looked with wonder at that beautiful sky? As I wander into the clearing, I see her sitting on that hill. She says to me a warm smile. I'm glad you came. I I just wanted to talk about today. What about today? Remember how I told you that I knew I wasn't I really felt that today. And even didn't seem to like me. She's more oh uh, she's more aware than I thought. Uh uh you be like that. Shit. She's offensive about her personal space. Maybe I should have finished the greeting. That's why I got back. She knows something went wrong, but she doesn't know what exactly. No, girls don't greet each other like that. Especially Yumi. She hates things like that. Things like what? You know, what you were doing with her? <laughs> her what? Don't make me outright say it. I don't understand. What? She's almost painfully innocent. Never mind. So, 
I just have a question. Do my best answer. Are you lonely? I think I am. But I don't really know if this really is loneliness. What? I mean, I really haven't. I really haven't had any fun as well. Why haven't you gone to school or anything like that? There's no way anyone could make it as well for me to school. School? I've never been there. What? Um. What? Did she just... She really... Did she have a really shelter on breaking or something? I've never been to a school. I have a tutor instead. So you've been homeschooled? A tutor. I guess that explains why you've never gone to school. school. Yep. I do all my learning at home. But home is boring. It's too big and empty. Places with happy people are that much better. I I only really go to the beach when I sneak out, out of home. But every time I do it, it's always worth it. I think I begin to piece together what the deal with her is. Big and empty? Why is your home big and empty? My home is big and empty. I don't know how I, how else to describe it. So is it like a magic or something? I think I've heard that word used somewhere, but I can't say for certain. But really, it's way too big. I don't like it at all. Mansion. Ask more about the mansion. Try to be polite. Hmm. Hmm. How, how, how am I supposed to do this question? Uh. Crap. Let's be polite, I guess. As I'm curious as I am, I think I'll answer about it. Not another time. See. Well, let's not try to worry about that one here. Let's have fun, man. I need to go back my telescope. What's that, Mr. Stranger? Uh, telescope. Oh, I used to have one of these. Could I? Of course you can. Go ahead. Yes! Turn her back to me. She stares into the telescope. I, it's an eyepiece. Oh. <laughs> and I'm staring at... It's so small. Even though it's right in my face. No, I have to have control of my eyes. Damn it. She sits there and I... A look of my innocent delight spreads across her face. So this is the universe up close. It's so beautiful, CG. She turns the telescope towards the stars. Their lights are so bright. Shit. Look, the teles this telescope... It's like I'm really there. The moon's craters, the twinkles of Mars, the twinkles of Mars in the distance. <sighs> I wish I could go there one day. And you just leave Earth behind. Seriously. She does have a heavy sign as she sees that. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Is it? I wouldn't be so sure. Space travel could be, become a thrill thing in our lifetime. Imagine if they could colonize the moon. I love to live here. Imagine being able to look back on Earth. I probably wouldn't want to be the first one to go through. I would. The sooner the better. I'll build an entire moon colony myself if I have to. What steely determination? Why don't you, CJ? Did you ever feel like that? I did, a while ago. Eh? What changed? It's a lot to explain. But let's just stay... I have more reasons to stay on Earth than I do to run off on a grand space adventure. Oh, it's because of those two? Those are surely accurate sometimes. How did you know? Just a guess, Mr. Stranger. They're both really special, very special to you. I can tell that. She looks away from the telescope for a moment. Man, I like it. I like it if I was that special to someone. Somewhere. How does it happen? Uh, I... I guess it's just time. So would you... So would I have to spend a lifetime with someone to become special to them? But that's so long. Not necessarily. So that you just get along with this with someone. And throughout that, you become special to that person. 
and she runs up after hearing that. So, can I become special to you then, CG? Special in what way? I don't know yet. I'll work it out somehow. She backs up on the telescope and stretches. Your telescope is amazing. Maybe you should get one for yourself. I'm sure there's somewhere you can buy one. Yeah. Maybe I could get one, get another one. It would be like being here all the time. It's no matter where I am in the world. I would be able to look towards the stars. Even though she's unusual, I can fully understand her love of space. I've never been be able to relate to someone like this before. You're special. It's a stranger. Huh? Very special. Nah, I don't think of anything special. Just a really average guy, you know. <laughs> Subway man. Shit. <laughs> I can really I can't really think of anything that makes me particularly remarkable. That isn't true at all. You're special. I know this for certain. There's no way that you could not possibly be special. She's insistent. That's why I'm special. Really? You're giving me too much credit. credit. I'm about to. I'm about as unremarkable as it come. And as her sh and it shakes her head. That can't be true. <laughs> she grabs them by their hand and holds them up to her chest. Everything about you is interesting. If I think so. Then it's enough to make it true. Oh man. I think you're the most interesting one out of both of us. You find me interesting too? No one. No one has ever told me before. Especially not a boy. How many boys have you talked to? Not that many at all. None my age, at least. Okay, that's odd. Uh, uh, <laughs> Never mind. Either way, you're the most interesting one I've talked to, Mr. Stranger. Besides those other two, they seem something in you, too. Yeah, like I told you before, things are complicated with them. I haven't noticed that yet. They really like you. I know that much, and I understand why they like you. But I don't know where the complication comes in. Can't really say to tell you about that right now. It's a little strange. I'm saying this to her. All people. Why do I find it so hard to tell her that I'm in a relationship with Moko? I guess I feel guilty about it because of how things are with the Yumi. She still wants me to answer her feelings. So, I guess I can't say for sure what my relationship with those two is right now. Well, don't worry about it. I will judge no matter how strange it is. I told you I knew I wasn't typical. So how could I judge someone else for not being typical? She's odd. My God, man. <laughs> Sometimes she says something, something really smart, but other times she's horrendously misinformed. Well, I'll be ready. To, I'll be ready to say about it about it later. I understand. She looks around the clearing then. What memories of this place do you have? Memories? Well, I used to go off on my own a lot as a kid. I have all kinds of hiding places that I formed and I found. <laughs> Play a lot of places, you know. <laughs> At least some places. These hills, though, are, they are special. No matter how many times I come here, the stars never cease to move me in. I know how you feel. It was past my bedtime, and I was exploring the one out when I found this place. Now, this is where I go whenever I need someone. Some time much to myself. <laughs> yeah, I was so, so surprised when I saw someone else here. You're not the only one. Finding this place is not easy, but past your bedtime? Well, my parents have considered me to be a troubled child. I always do things they didn't like, so they become really strict. It was all for my own good, they told me. So imagine a little girl sitting here, thinking about nice, how nice it would be to leave this place behind and reach me for the stars. Do you think you can relate to those feelings, CG? Just wanted to leave everything behind? 
It's in the moment that I began to understand her heart a little better. Hmm, yeah. I do understand it. We can't run away, can we? Yes. We can't run away. But I hope it's something we can... We should never give up. Maybe one day a spaceship will crash here and I'll be able to fly in it. Fly away in it. You never know, right? Yeah, right. Some part of her tells her that it's hopeless. Honor says that she has to keep hoping no matter what happens. I have to remember that things aren't going to stay the same forever. It will get a chance for our venture you've always wanted. Go explore and discover new things. Maybe find some love too. Love? Do you think I really find love? I can't predict the future. I think that you might. I... I don't know how much about love, though. Neither do I. But you shouldn't let that stop you. For a moment, she seems to think really hard about something. Do you have someone you love, CG? I... I can't really answer that right now. Do you love one of your friends? Which one? Hey! Don't go ask... Don't go and ask questions like that. I don't know. Too. At least we're both uncertain. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, damn it! What can I choose? It's not so soon. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. We can't remain on surface for the rest of the lives, can we? Of course not. We need to last a little bit to, to ourselves. <laughs> Do you know what love feels like? I. It's not something that easy to explain. Yeah. Pretty much. You feel like you really like someone. <laughs> oh, God. What did I even do with myself like this? <laughs> love comes in many different forms. So, if I did fall in love, I wouldn't know what it is. I don't know. How should I tell you? But love is just something I know much about. She smells quietly to herself. I see. Love is complicated. <laughs> Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> but somewhat at the same time, I hope to meet the love of my life one day. She idly pulls out her phone and quickly checks it. Oh, it's gotten late. She really, she really looks worried as she says that. Eh? What's the matter? At the moment, before they know I'm gone. But well, who knows you're gone? Parents. But before I do, thank you, CG. Eh, for what for? You were spending time with me. Oh, it's, oh, it's no problem, really. <laughs> I'm here to keep you company. <laughs> and I'll see you at the beach tomorrow. I think we will be going there, yeah. I'll text you our plans, so don't worry about it. Okay. So until next time, she should you. Happily, she bounced off into the undergrowth. That was enlightening. I understand her desires now. She wants to go on a grand adventure because she feels stiffled at home. I can't make any assumptions yet. My guess is that she grew up in a sheltered environment. And the fact that she didn't go to school at all. So, could her misconceptions all be linked back to that? She gave you me that reading. She said she read it out of a book. To my laugh, I heard the sound of rustling. Who's there? Oh fuck! To my shock is um uh, what was that? Did she really Did she really say could I be special to you? Oh no. Oh I won't stand for it. Oh, what's the problem? Well, what's the problem? And you mean face goes to a palm. You really haven't heard anything, have you? What do you mean? Just forget it. You're being harsh on someone who was spying on two people having a private moment. Uh, uh, I just needed to, to assure that nothing was wrong. That's all. No, that can't be it. I think I know what the problem is. I like to think it's not the case. 
pretty sure. Don't forget about me, CT. Although the Great is here to keep the witch in check. I told you to never call me that again. <laughs> yes! Yes! Finally! <laughs> you have to deal with your curse. The years. The curse has been sure expired by now. Yeah. <laughs> expired. Well, anyway. This. This is an interesting turn of events. I wonder where it all will go. What if she's... We'll work it out as we go along. Besides, we can't just decide things for ourselves and provide ourselves. I, I, I understand what you mean. Uncomfortably, Ayumi looks away from me. I know it all too well. The best thing to do is wait and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really understand why these two are After everything that's happened, you really aren't girls, are you? Shit! How'd she know? You will never understand. Sorry, that's okay. Is there something I'm not picking up on? I never really noticed anything unusual when I was talking to her. Well, nothing unusual by her standards, at least. See, you. I can feel the cold trial sweat going down my spine and down my scotchel. <laughs> what? You have no idea how angry I am with you right now. Why, you're not my mom. <laughs> what? What did I do? I don't understand. Please, no divine punishment. Forgive him this time. You know he doesn't pick up these things. That's the part of him. As far as charm, right? Fine. Yes. This, just this once. Eh. Yeah, I wish I get multiple. I'm so glad I'm all here. Anyway, it was nice. As this place is, we need to get home. We're going to have a great day tomorrow. All four of us. You must admit, Yumi, see you look really cute for her. <laughs> Don't you think? No. Why would I think that? <laughs> ah, I mean, see you look kind of nice, but not with her. So he should be with you instead. That is what I'm trying to find She's so funny sometimes, man. So, man. <laughs> Twist my words. Uh, and Yui, for that, you don't need to hide your feelings. Don't make presumptions about how I feel. But it all wow. She turns her, she turns her back to me. I want to go back to the hotel. It's cold out here. Alright, alright. We'll do something fun tomorrow. Just you and me. Does that sound so good? I guess it would be acceptable. Alright, let's go back there. The three of us do just that. And join the brisk even here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard anything from Nanny just yet. But you know, it sure is going to be a great day. Alright, everyone. So this is going to be the end of the video for today. So thank you very much for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.